Hello everyone, welcome to Nidra Educations. How are you all? Hope you all are fine. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe it. And for getting a new updates, don't forget to press bell icon. Dear students, today I am going to teach you a standard fifth chapter two, that is longitudes and latitudes. In this chapter, we are going to know about the globes longitudes and latitudes the prime meridians and locating place right so without wasting our time let me start our work right dear students have you know that ancient people are knowing that the shape of the earth is a flat if we go far away from any place somewhere it is a uh, ended and we will fall off from it right but our scientists and astrologers prove that from their theories and all the experiments they are prove that the earth shape of the earth is not a flat it is a round right but it is actually a round in shape no our scientists or a modern technique also prove nowadays that our earth is not a completely round in shape it is a spherical in shape and it is slightly depressed from the top and bottom so now dear students let we see the miniature model of the earth that is our globe if you see here it is not a completely straight like this if we see if I keep it here and you can see this it is little bit tilted from this axis right this is the two part we can see that the this is a north part north pole and this is the south pole of the earth right it is always tilted on one side if we see that on the top it is a north pole of the globe and if we see the bottom part it shows the south pole of the globe the road if you see here this is the road the road running through this poles north pole to south pole running through these poles top to bottom is called earth's axis earth is moving through this axis right number of verticals if we see this in this globe we can see a number of verticals and horizon line on it what it is the vertical lines that is passes through the north to south pole it is called the longitudes the horizontal line this is move through the east to west side it is called latitude now let me know details about this longitude and latitudes right so now we are going to know longitudes and latitudes first we know about the longitude what is a longitude as i told that early that the lines that passes through the north pole to south pole vertically it is called the longitudes right so this line lines at equal distance this line if you see that this uh, this is the line that has a equal distance from each other that that runs from the north pole to south pole that means it is runs to north pole to south pole from the each equal distance right have you seen that my finger is moving like one two three they are meet and the poles but whenever they separate it they have a equal distance but this distance is not equally everywhere where it reaches on the equators area the gap between the two uh, longitude it will be a more and the earth has taken time to moving from one another four minutes right let me see about more about it so equal uh, known as the line of, uh, this is the known as the line of 
longitudes or we can also say that the another name it's a meridians right all these lines are same in length if we see that this line is length is same but it is not a parallel to each other right if we see that it is here if we see in the pole area it has a very small distance in between but if we reaches in the equators area it has a more distance between the both line right 360 how many uh, latitudes we can see in the earth or a world or we can see on the globe also right so 316 lines of longitudes we can see on our globe or a earth right it refers to as a standard meridians or uh, that used to determine time all over the world that i told that earths take a time to minimum 4 minutes to one latitude longitude to another longitude have you remember that our earth is moving on east to west side right its movement is like that only right and they it has two poles area that is north pole top area is the north pole and south area is the bottom bottom area is the south pole right now we are going to know about what is the prime meridians prime meridians you can see that the prime meridians it is uh, divide our earth to two equal part that is one if you see here in this part we can see this the prime meridians passes through it right it is so the standard line longitudes line assumes as it is and it so the north pole to south pole prime meridians line we can see it and now we are going to know about the latitudes right before that knowing latitude i will tell you this the prime meridians lines same as each other and it is so the it is passes through the greenwich royal greenwich in london and it is called the prime meridians line now we are going to know about the latitude what are the latitude as i told you earlier that the line that passes through the east to west side in a horizontal way it is called a latitudes right uh, the lines that divide the uh, divide our earth into a two equal parts or a two equal halves is from the middle of the earth it is called equator if you see that here we can see the equator line that divide our earth into two equal part right now we are going to know about how the latitudes are appears in this globe if we see from the equator it is parallel lines we can see through the equator to north pole and equator to south pole these are the parallel and upper part of the line it's called the northern hemisphere and the equator to lower part of the line it is called the southern hemisphere have you clear about this we can see from the equator if we go towards the north pole in parallel line we can see it is the northern hemisphere if we go through the bottom part and the south pole from the equator we can see the parallel line it is called the southern hemisphere the line that move parallel to this lines towards the north pole and the south pole are called the latitudes right as these lines move from the north pole to south pole they keep getting the shorter and shorter if we see that the equator is the longest line in this world right as we know that it is the great circle also because it is the longest line from this globe right and 
as we go toward the north the parallel line should be a shorter shorter and shorter it is look like that if we see on this globe the this is the center one equator and if we go through the parallel line this is our north pole and this is our south pole and if we go towards equator towards to north pole it should be a shorter shorter and shorter if we go through the down or a bottom part it is also the parallel line and go through the south pole and it is a shorter lines right so now have you understand this is the equators this is the north pole south pole and this is parallel lines go through this part is the northern hemisphere and this part call a southern hemisphere hope you can understand these things clearly now in this northern hemisphere it is point out as we see that this is the equator line is point out as a zero right if we go toward the north it is 10 then it is 20 30 and the pole area it's a 19 right and how many latitude line we can see in this globe it is 181 right 90 or 90 and 1 equator it is called 118 latitude lines we can see on a globes and same way if we go uh, downwards and here 0 to 10 this is called the 10 north 20 north same way if we see that it is the 10 south 10 20 south as we go toward the pole area it the distance should be shorter right now we are going to know about the how can we locate the place on this globe in the with the help of this latitude and longitude right as we see longitude and latitude now we are going to know about the geographical grids what is this grids so if we see this the longitude and latitude line on the globe lines of longitudes and latitudes intersect intersect means cross each other and provide us the exit locations of a place it form a network of a, uh, lines it is called the grids a uh, points on the grids of longitude and latitude it is called the coordinates right and this coordinate help us to find out the exit place or a points on the globe how it it will be happen let me see here if we see here the grid if we see the longitude lines and these are the latitudes line right if wherever the longitude lines and latitudes line passes through and intersect each other the points meet it is called the coordinates right in this help of this coordinate we can find out the place very easily on the globe hope you can understand all very well now goodbye have a nice day